Hey y'all, how are you? I've been out at the lake today, went to Dangerfield, Texas, and checked out the Dangerfield State Park. If you're in that area, you should give it a try, a drive through. It's a beautiful piney woods, beautiful lake area. We went just for a day trip, uh, just to check it out and see what it looked like to see if it was an area that we'd like to do family reunions and things like that. I'm sure that it gets pretty full during the summertime because it is such a beautiful place. So that will not be where we're going for family reunions uh, or big parties because it is a smaller park. But if you're just looking for something for a small getaway uh, and just to be out in nature, it is beautiful and worth a trip, worth a stop. Again, Dangerfield, Texas. That's why I look windblown. And all of that today. <laughs> uh, as you know, and I say it very openly in my description, uh, I do book reviews on all kinds of books in every kind of genre. Um, some just regular herbal books, some a little witchy. Today I am going to do a review on a witchy book. However, if witchy stuff freaks you out, you can check out right here or you can stay and watch it because it's not nothing too scary. It is talking about herbs, uh, medicinal herbs, and it's a coloring book and it's kind of cool. You might want to see it. That's all we're going to talk about. No spells, no spells on anybody, <laughs> anything like that. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. You're going to want to see it. So that's what it looks like it is a coloring book of shadows a green witch herbal by amy cesaria didn't say it right i know c-e-s-a-r-i and it's backwards so you can't see it so i'll put it in the description box this is new it just came out you're going to want to look at it the uh, pictures there are pictures if you can see it there you go pictures in there for each plant um, and it tells the magical properties the medicinal properties that's the part if you're not magical that you're going to want to see uh, rituals and sabbats if you are into that kind of thing if you're not skip past that part but you'll want to see the medicinal properties in here so let's do one that's not so freaky blackberries okay a blackberries the planet is venus the element of water so let me tell you the medicinal properties of blackberries the fruit contains powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. The leaves are astringent and make lovely gargles for sore throats. If you're in a crisis situation like you can't get anything for your sore throat because there's nothing in the store anymore. If you had this coloring book, it'd be twofold. One, you'd have something to do. And if you were really proactive and you stored up a bunch of color pencils you'd have a book to color in you'd have a book to study with you'd know the medicinal properties of blackberries because you grew them in your yard so you have some because i told you to grow some <laughs> we have thornless blackberries out here so i could go and pick some leaves let's see I could pick some leaves and get an astringent, make an astringent, or I could pick some leaves and make something to gargle with on the sore throat. You could do that too, which you're not. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Let me tell you another one in here. The dandelion. All of us have dandelions in our yard right now. Some of us mowed over them and some of them saved them because they are the bee's first food. You know, we don't mow them. We save for the bees because we feed the bees. Because if we don't have bees, we don't have food ourselves. Think about that. Okay, so medicinal properties of dandelions is detoxifying. It's a prebiotic. 
and it's a direct diuretic. You know, lemons also are a diuretic. So if you need to get a bunch of water off of you because you're holding water, try some lemons. Lemons and water, either hot water or ice water, but don't put sugar in it. Not lemonade, lemon water. But anyway, we're talking about dandelions here. You can make a dandelion tea if you had this book, which you're not. You could just read the part... Uh, Read the part for medicinal properties on here. It also says for your home, it brightens up your home. Um, the yellow flowers, the yellow makes everyone happy, right? In the kitchen, you can eat a tonic salad of dandelion greens, marigold, borage, flowers to detoxify your digestive system. If we are in an SHTF situation, you may need to detoxify your system for sure anyway so and then they have the lovely picture of the dandelion that you can color with the pencils that you were proactive and you got because you know the tv and the internet is not working because the grid is down right so you have both things on there uh they have in here it talks about mullen mullen you can find easy um, what does it say? Medicinal properties, an herb for cough, respiration, and bronchial issues. Yep. They do say the magical things that they're good for. If you're of the magical persuasion, you're going to need to buy the book so you can check it out. Uh, they also have star anise in here. Uh, let's see. You can make a drink out of it. I was looking for the medicinal. Magical kitchen toss. Let's see. You can put it in soups. You can put it in chocolate dessert. I'm not going to tell you the magical part of it. Actually, I love star anise. It's fantastic. I use it a lot in my oils that I make. Uh, mint. I started with the mint in my color book. Hmm. Anyway, this book was $17 and some change on Amazon. It just came out. I will tell you, it's well worth the money. I bought one for me. I bought one for a gift. Someone's going to be surprised. They're going to get one in the mail. Um, and I will probably buy a few more to send out for gifts as well. Maybe I'll even do a giveaway. Let's see. Let me see. Would you guys like me to give one of these away? If so, put it in the comments. If you're not of the magical persuasion and magical things offend you, would you like me to give away another herbal book that's just regular herbals or regular garden stuff? Something in that kind of direction. There's some new ones of those out too, and I will be buying some of those and reviewing some of them. Again, I review my own uh, books I pay for. I pay for these myself. No one gives them to me, although I am open for anyone to send me some to read and review. Uh, they'll get an honest review out of that. Copal is in here. Medicinal properties of copal, it treats skin disorders and irritations. If you want to know the magical side of it, you got to buy the book. I'm not going to tell y'all any of the magical properties. So all of my viewers will be happy. I'm just telling you the medicinal side. Uh, but it is worth the money. It is worth the read. It is fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it. I bought this one off of Amazon. Uh, Amy does have other coloring books on there as well in different, um, talking about different things, but this one is the Green Witch's Herbal. So check it out. 
that is it on the book review part of it. But I am going to tell you the other things we did today besides going to the lake. We did till up an okra patch. We're getting ready to plant okra. And so I got the captain to to uh, till up about two or three more rows for me because he's the one who likes okra, fried okra, okra and gumbo, all of that. We're going to plant enough to keep for ourselves, some to give away, and some to sell. So there'll be okra, hopefully, hopefully a lot of that. We also got him to till up underneath the cattle panels so we could plant zinnias under there. Zinnias are fantastic for the pollinators. We need the bees and the butterflies to come and pollinate everything. So what have you been doing? What have you been reading? What are your favorite things to read? Let me know that so I'll know what to book review for you. I book review anything and everything. I'll read it <laughs> and I'll tell you about it. And I'll tell you honestly whether it's fantastic or in my opinion if it is not. What are you planting in your garden? Um, every Let me just say this. Everyone is welcome at my table. Whether it's witchy, whether it's Bible stuff, whether it's political stuff. Although I don't talk about politics on here. I'll still read it. Uh, I'll still share it. Yeah, you're welcome no matter what your beliefs are. I'm good. As long as you are... A good person uh, to other people as long as you're helpful to other people I don't care what your religion is I don't care what you practice I just care that you help other people and that you don't hurt anyone okay so with that being said tell me what you've been doing what's happening what's new are you doing some fun crafts? Are you painting? Are you writing? Are you gathering things? Are you filling your cabinets? Are you filling your shelves? Are you helping other people fill theirs? Are you helping in the gardens? Are you planting your own gardens? Do you teach other people how to uh, get their gardens going? If they don't know, do you just laugh at them and say they're silly and they can't get it and I'm the only one who can do it? Or do you share and help them so they can be successful too? I hope that you are all helping others be successful. We are all in this together and I wish you a happy day. Check out the Green Witches Herbal and also, if you don't let me know in the comments, would you like me to give away one of those? Would you like me to give away a just straight up herbal book? Uh, one of the newer ones. I'm going to be buying some for giveaways. So, would you like seeds giveaway? What would you like? I never can get anyone to tell me. I think I got Miss Janita to tell me something about seeds one time. And maybe Miss Patty. I can't remember for sure. I think so. Uh, the rest of y'all tell me something. I only have 265 subscribers and I only have a very handful of people who ever watch or comment and tell me anything. I am thankful for all of you who do watch and comment. I would love to see the rest of you like, comment, share. You don't even have to share. Like, comment, something. And if you've watched this all the way through, leave me a book emoji or a smiley face emoji along with your comments. Much love, everyone.